Uh, so your next comedian is Rot. Give it up for Rot. Thank you, my good friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How y'all doing tonight out there? Anybody eating my food? You enjoying it? Yes. Yes, good. I assure you I washed my hands, at least when you could see me. <laughs> it's a fake beer, don't worry. I, I don't like doing comedy without my fake beer. Uh, I am uh, not a chef. A lot of time people will be like, hey man, compliments to the chef. I've taken no schooling, but I've done a lot of cocaine. I've been banging waitresses since 1992. I, uh, chefs go to school and then they end up working at Arby's managing a team of fucking miscreants, okay? There's no real chefs. The few of you see make it on TV and then you read about how they died later of drug overdoses. Rest in peace, Anthony. I wrote my jokes down on a napkin so that would be funny, but now I can't read the goddamn things. Uh, yeah, uh, I feel up for all the comedians after my set. Your microphone will smell like french fries, but now you know how my girlfriend feels because my dick also always smells like french fries. Anybody in the industry here? Anybody been a cook or anything? No matter what position you work, you always smell like fries. No matter how nice the goddamn restaurant, five stars, Michelin, you're throwing out tiny little portions of cute little shrimp and shit, you go home, all your clothes smell like grease. You always smell like fries. I can smell a cook from a mile away. Anyways, da, 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 da. yeah, it's all gone. So I'm trying to lose weight again. I'm an Alaskan, and for some reason, I think we hibernate like bears, and for nine months of winter, we just get bigger and bigger. And uh, since I've moved here, I enjoy the infrastructure, the sun going up and down, but I gain weight. And it's only right here. See that? Look at that. I'm like eight months pregnant. I could take pictures and be cradling my baby. You laughed way too hard at that. That actually was hurtful, sir. Uh, so I've been eating nothing but salad, Heineken Zeros, and motherfucking... Uh, a fruit, and uh, I'll tell you what, man, if I had a superhero name right now, it would be the Salad Shooter. I don't know what to describe what's happening in the morning, but it can only be described as a screaming, a screaming shit. My roommates are concerned for me. I have a German Shepherd. She follows me anywhere. Not anymore. Nope. She sticks her little head in the door. She's like, are you okay? I'm not lasting. I'm not going to get help, but I'll eat your dead corpse. Again, I wash my hands. That's the important part to take away from this. I am so sober. I have quit smoking cocaine, and I used to smoke crack to the point where, where Charlie Sheen would be like, damn, dude, you need to slow down. I'm like, no, you know, you need to stop fucking hookers with AIDS, bro. That's not cool. Uh, uh, about four years ago, I quit drinking. This is a Heineken Zero. Every time I take a drink, watch this. Fucking sadness, dude. I'm, a, I'm, I'm this close to being suicidal, but I'm not because I like torturing people with my lovely presence and enthusiasm for life. I, uh... I quit smoking weed for, for about four weeks ago, I think. Uh, that was a horrible mistake. Here's a fun fact. If you quit smoking weed, your dreams turn back on. And they're not nice to you. They're fucking monsters. They tell you everything. I've been smoking weed since I was 13. I'm 49. And I had a lot of shit for them. Remember defragging your computer? That shit happened to me every day. I had horrible dreams, primal dreams. My demons are like, oh, you're mine now, motherfucker. We've been looking for you. Freddy Krueger's in my head masturbating. I'm making me hold the fucking the reach around. Anyways, yeah, man, I, I, uh, what is that word? Death. Well, that's not nice. Yeah, I guess I, yeah, I guess I am suicidal. Oh, that's unfortunate. Anyways, I'm your cook right now, so if you're a poor bastard who just put in food, there's a reason why it's going to take three minutes longer. It's not your bartender's fault. Give it up for our bartender. She's kicking ass all by her lonesome. Uh, give it up for Allison Rose for hiring me, despite the fact that as my best friend, she knows how fucked up I really am. Uh, and after getting into my head for the last four weeks, I know how fucked up I really am. It's scary in there. The dreams have finally stopped, so that's good. So a couple of weeks ago, uh, a Mormon tried to roast my ass, which is just hilarious. Like, really, watch South Park. Okay, your religion's a fucking joke. But anyways, <laughs> he tried to roast me, and uh, he's all, Dennis looks like Gandalf. If Gandalf listened to heavy metal instead of fucking became a wizard, you shall not pass! Is how that should sound, my friend. I'm also a metal singer. But it's funny when a Mormon makes fun of you for drinking Jägermeister. And you can see he tried so hard. He's like, oh, yeah, Jägermeister. What is that? Let me tell you what Jägermeister is. Jägermeister is you took one shot, motherfucker, and you would divorce six of your seven fucking wives. <laughs> Hell, Satan, have a good night. Again, I do wash my hands. I love you all. Thank you for giving us your business. Come back every goddamn night. I got habits. Oh, no, wait. I don't. And give it up for Matt. He's a beautiful Mormon. That's the motherfucker I was just talking about right there. Yeah, Rot looks like that uh, drill sergeant that got kicked out of the military back in the 90s for cocaine. But he still wears the camo pants. 